aspect of growing up a lot into comics. So for me, it was Spider-Man. <laughs> I mean, absolutely my favorite uh, superhero. No cape or anything, but he had the mask and the cool suit. And, uh, you know, strong, um, spidey sense, all that kind of, uh, kind of thing. So I was, just, I was just drawn to that. To that superhero, and even even today, when they uh, you know they sort of made those movies, and um, yeah, so I, I, Spider-Man is the one for me. I, I certainly have several, but you know, I, reflecting as it relates to cancer, I'll say you know again as, as you come into we were talking earlier, you can't throw a rock and not not hit somebody that isn't touched by cancer one way or another. So my father is a is a cancer survivor two times. Um, and uh, currently is, is sort of fighting to recover from colon cancer. And, and so I've watched him uh, uh, battle months and months and months, matter of fact, 11 months of chemotherapy and uh, prior to a surgery to remove the diseased colon. And, and now months and months and months as he's fought to sort of regain um, just sort of basic functions to, uh, to, to live. And so I've watched all that and, 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 and of course as my dad was going through that I myself was diagnosed with cancer and uh, sort of having this conversation with my father to say hey, look I've, I've got cancer and me meanwhile I'm watching him with his chemo pump and um, it just sort of there was a certain connection there that was made not that we didn't have it before. I had the same blood pumped through our veins. Uh, I'll, I'll be honest I, I was telling someone that um, when I was first told I had cancer, and they said, you know, probably pretty much got it from your dad, I, I'm, I'm like, I, I was, for a brief moment, I was kind of angry because, uh, you know, why, why, you know, why do I have to have those, those genes or that DNA? But as I've watched my father fight um, through his now second bout of cancer, um, I thank God every day that I have, I have his blood and running through my veins because it's the very thing that's made me strong. And so. When I talk about uh, superheroes today, and, and you know, that, for me, that's my dad as, as I've watched him fight, fight through cancer. And of course, you know, my family members that sort of helped me um, sort of fight my way through as well. So it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's a, I got a pretty good list, but I'd, I'd say dad, watching dad fight, fight his way, he's, he's number one there. As uh, uh, I was diagnosed and had to have uh, surgery to remove my cancer, the level of care I got at the hospital was just fantastic. The nursing staff was phenomenal. Uh, I had a few complications that kept me here longer than it anticipated, and uh, just the, the the level of care and the caring, and it actually impacted me significantly. And what was really amazing is that as my father uh, was treated in the same hospital, uh, um, kept telling me about the man, the nurses were just fantastic. The, the nursing staff was was awesome, and I was visiting. I visited him several times, and periodically the nurse staff would come in and they were the same, the exact same nurses that had looked after me and um, so it, it just, it, it made me realize that you know this is really genuine and, and uh, when you talk about the mission, you know, treat, treat others as we treat the ones or care for the ones that we love, I mean uh, that's exactly what I experienced, that's exactly what my father experienced. That drew me to, to kind of dedicate my time and my, my resources to uh, not only the Riverside Foundation but this, this uh, uh, cancer committee that I'm participating on and, and you know, this, this event as well. Right, you can't throw a rock and, and not hit somebody who hadn't been touched by cancer one way, one way or another. Um, some of us, some of us get cancer and get up and walk away from it and never have an issue. Others uh, find themselves dramatically different after uh, surviving cancer and, and uh, if we can eradicate it, um, I think what a huge win for our society and uh, you know, together we are stronger than cancer and uh, it does require the community to pull together and uh, very important that those that can uh, provide their time and their resources to uh, to, to help help combat this thing, and, and uh, I think it's uh, absolutely a, a worthy cause, and, and um, you know, my my number one priority as well. Uh, to the person that discovered the cancer, the tumor, um, to the surgeon that uh, so eloquently removed it all. <laughs> Um, and to the nursing staff that kind of took care of me as I kind of made my way through in my own head what, what it meant to, 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 to have cancer and, and, uh, and for mine it was prostate cancer and 
kind of um, you know how you work your way through all that and uh, I, I, thank you isn't enough um, but it's certainly required <laughs> uh, it's, it's the minimum I could do um, so I guess I guess it'd just be a resounding thank you I, I uh, the entire medical community I, the, there there's one person that saved my life the, the person that found that tumor and said I think there's something wrong and uh, the rest kind of kind of took care of itself so um, but I never missed a beat uh, great advice, great uh, level of talent that took care of me, and, and I, I saw the same uh, sort of take care of my dad. So um, thank you, I think, would be the, the best I could do.